Hey friends, how are you all doing today? I'm in the mood to paint a pansy and I did a traceable. The traceable's on my website, annietro.com. I'm gonna paint a little six by six inch pansy. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you this so long. <laughs> Here's the reference photo. It's on unsplash.com. The photographer is Kathleen Colbertson. And then I drew some leaves. They're, the leaves are there, but I just drew them in white so I could see them better for the traceable. And then here, maybe you can see it a little bit better on my iPad. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's dig in. <laughs> Okay, let's set the table. I have a six inch by six inch uh, cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I remembered to save the label this time. I really like them. They're quite reasonably priced too. Um, you can get them on their website. Oh, you probably could scan the QR code. They aren't sponsoring this video. And I also order them on Amazon. Okay, so I wanna let you know what that is. I have put two coats of um, clear gesso on it and I didn't grab that. I'll grab it. You could use white gesso. I just like, I just buy the transparent. Can always add white to it, white paint to it or any color. Okay. And then I put out, um, instead of the hooker's green, you could put out one of your blues and then mix a green with your yellow. So since I mentioned that first, we'll start with hooker's green, quinacridone magenta, and then if you, you put out a blue, you could make your purple with a quinacridone magenta and the blue. Um, I'm gonna use prism violet because I just wanna mix it up and do something a little different. So prism violet, so that's prism violet. Mars black. Titanium white. And cad yellow. And I'm gonna take we're gonna video most of this in real time. There will be some time lapse. Um, it makes the videos much more manageable for us, not only in just the upload, but just in the whole workflow. So this is a one inch flat brush from Low Cornell. And I'm just gonna put on, I wonder if I can give myself a little bit more room here. I'm gonna put on just dark greens. Actually, I want a little purple up here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Do you want to see here? I'll put a little white in it so you can see. Isn't that a pretty color? And again, you could mix your purple with quinacridone and some, whatever blue and see if you like that purple. Anyway, I want some purple up here, I think. And um, yeah, I don't think we want any pink. And I'm just going to kind of brush. Oh, I need a little, little bit of water. So that first coat of paint goes on a little a little resistant maybe might be the word because this is kind of a sandpapery feel. So I'm going to put some purples on and then just mix in some greens and I want to paint my sides too. And if you want your color more more opaque put in some white and then come back if you want it darker with another layer because I don't think I want it that light up there. Okay, I'm gonna time lapse this little bit and I'll be back. So I lightened up the background a little bit with a little bit more purple. Uh, when I came back, it, it's nighttime and my studio's darker. And then this looked almost black to me. Um, and then I also added some yellow, some green, a little bit of white. 
I hold it up, you might be able to see it a little bit better. It's quite dark. I wish I liked, that's fine. I can always lighten it up. I painted the sides. Um, they're not like black. They have some color to them. I don't know if you can see it. When I look through my phone, it doesn't show very well, very well the colors. But sometimes it looks better when I actually go to edit the video. And I'm thinking next steps. I'm like, which way is up? <laughs> I think next steps, I'm gonna paint the leaves. Huh. So that my background isn't very dry, which is why that's not coming up very well. I could have waited till tomorrow to put my traceable on there. And I used the photo because I had it handy. Um, I could have used the traceable too. I could always print another one. Let's see, that's a leaf. Oh, that's coming up better. Maybe I was just being a little, a little gentle with it. Okay. Just less, you can paint right over the chalk pastel. It'll uh, dissolve into the paint. I think actually let's mix. I've got this cool um, kind of blue green. It really doesn't look it, but once I um, I'll just put this here. That's, that's maybe more than I need. Yeah, that's definitely more than I need. Um, I've been doing this in my last couple of videos. Just a little bit of black and some yellow makes a really fun green. Kind of an army green, kind of a sage green. And I just, I think this is gonna be too green. Let's pull a little out. I'm gonna wipe off my palette knife. Let's grab. Here, I can scoot this a little bit, can I? I'm gonna scoot this too, so I have a little bit more mixing room. Um, you can put your palette on the right. A lot of people do. I um, I tend to drag my sleeve through the paint, and also, when I'm at my big easel, I hold my palette in my left hand, so I'm just used to it over, going to the left to grab color. Oops, I may have added to, black is so strong. You can always green it up with our hookers green or whatever green you have in your studio. I'm just wiping off my palette knife right now. Okay, I'm gonna use a half inch flat brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. Number 12, it's their Zen line. If I get it closer, you might be able to see it. Oh, if I get my hand up there, it might focus better. Okay, of course I, even a little, maybe even a smaller brush up there. I might um, grab a little white so it covers, makes the paint more opaque. Oh, the hooker's green says the box, that white box is all the way filled in. So it says it's a pretty opaque color. I don't know if I needed the white. I wanna, let's just use a smaller brush. I was gonna try not to switch brushes. I gotta get that back in frame. Just as well, I had to switch brushes. And I'm just gonna get some paint down. And I already think that's too light, but it is gonna dry a little bit darker. And we kinda just wanna get a start. It doesn't have to be a perfect start. Yeah, I think I want these darker. So my son, where's the light coming from? 
It is coming from over here. This is catching the light. This could be catching the light. It just kind of depends on what else is all, all around this pansy. But it's coming from the top. The light's the strongest to the left. It catches a little there too. So since that's not quite as white, I'd say it's coming from like pretty much over there. Let's get our sun in here. Oh yeah, that's drying darker after I was worried about it. All right, Mr. Sun, we're gonna cover you most of the way up. If you want one of those, that's a it's a four inch sticker. It's in my merch shop below this video. No, no pressure. I don't mention it that often. I mean, I'm, I talk about Mr. Sun, but I don't mention the merch shop that often. Um, that's kind of fun. Helps me remember. I don't have to think about it. It's like right there. I'm just gonna shift my greens a little bit just to. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna want this one warmer up here. The second coat is gonna add a lot more. Um, it's gonna be brighter because it's got another layer of paint underneath it. Okay. Oh, here we could go. Well, let's, I'm gonna fill that in a little bit and then we can go back to our bigger brush. I paint, this is a number one round from uh, Princeton. It's their select line. Um, the, when I use a smaller brush, I get tighter. Um, but sometimes it's hard to use a bigger brush because you just can't get the control and it's driving me crazy. You know, don't, don't try to, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, I know that's easier said than done, but sometimes, but just go with what feels right. So it's easier to pull an edge than it is to push. You can push. It's just usually a little easier. I've got some water in my brush, but that's okay. It's gonna go on kind of thin. But that also means it's gonna dry darker, which might be nice. In general, I like to sneak up and especially when I'm painting on a dark background, sneak up to white or almost white. And white being the brightest value you can have. Okay. Now I'm just kind of looking at the brush strokes, trying to decide. Oop, what might work best for this leaf? How it might grow. I can't really see it in the reference photo. I might be able to see it on the reference photo online though, not the one I printed, but it kind of does this. Okay, let's grab this one. Maybe a smidge of white. turn this. If I'm not careful, I'm going to lose which way is up. <laughs> Does that happen to you? Kind of depends on what it is. I kind of get that feeling. You can tell. So I'm breathing, but I'm concentrating, so I stop talking. And if you hold your breath, it's okay. It's just sometimes easier to be steadier. If you anchor, like I'm anchoring my wrist, can you, I don't think you can totally see that, but my wrist is anchored on the top of this wood panel. Panel. Sometimes I anchor my pinky. Um, you can use like a mall stick if you're painting a really big painting. You know, they, they lean this up against the painting and then they rest their hand on it. It's a big long stick. You can use like a broom handle or something skinnier. Anyway. I'm just trying to get right up to there. Actually, it doesn't matter if I don't get it just so because my background's kind of greenish and dark. So I don't have to be that fussy with it. I'm going to grab just a little more paint. I 
and catch that, I think. We'll see how it dries. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, that kind of helps. You can see my, can you see my brush strokes in that leaf? They're a little bit regular, but if I come back and just maybe emphasize See, that's, here's where layers, I'll say sometimes layers are your best friend. Isn't that just kind of nice and soft? I kind of want to do more, but I think we'll just stop. Try and let's maybe make that one longer. So it's they're not all the same length. No, I said I was going to stop, but now I'm going to... And let's leave that happy accident stuff. Okay, now what I'm wondering, there's many ways to approach a painting. Um, there isn't a right or a wrong way. But I'm kind of wondering if I want to paint some yellow in here or yellow and white so I don't lose that shape. Maybe paint a little white. I don't know, maybe a little gray or green gray in there. And then maybe even paint some purple and then I could come back with bigger strokes over and paint the off-white. You could do it the other way. You could paint them all white and come back and, like I didn't trace this, I forgot to trace this section, but it doesn't need to be perfect. This is different on every pansy. Let's maybe try that. I might grab my little brush. So we can make a little. Kind of orangey color. Alright, so that and it goes kind of towards green. So maybe we'll just. And it's going to look muddy because of the color underneath it, but that's totally okay. Unless you don't like that, then you might want to paint this on a light background or paint around it. Don't paint the whole, you know, paint the background just around the, put the traceable on first and then paint the background. That'll give it a nice look. You can totally do that. It'll change it. It'll look a little bit different. And your painting's gonna look different than mine. There's just no way. Well, if you're a forger and really good at that sort of thing, you can make it look just like mine, but it's really not the point. Just adding a little more paint. Okay. And what if we just take like a little black and a little green and some white kind of made a green gray oh you could um lighten your chalk pastel too I'm not too worried about it let's see I'm looking at my reference photo and I kind of start slow too. It takes me a little while to warm up. And I'm back to this number one round again, which also makes it slower. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a little more white. And make this shape a little lighter. I think it catches a little more. Oh, this doesn't look much different. It'll be fine though. We can come back and fix it. Plus I don't exactly know my values just yet. We're just kind of aiming. And that's one thing nice is if you don't use, I, I'm really dark, so I've almost a black already, but if you don't use a black, black and you don't use white, you know, a couple layers of white, you can always have room to go darker or lighter, which can make it a little easier to paint. This might be too light, too. I really don't know. All I'm doing is just kind of trying to fill in. It looks lighter. We'll see how it, how it dries. 
Now, after I said don't use white, white, and save it to the end, I'm going to, I'm just cleaning off my brush here. I'm going to grab some straight up white. I've done this in the last couple videos too. And tell myself my lightest value, there's actually a shadow, but my lightest value is here. You know what, I could have done it with a smaller brush if I wanted a little bit more control. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of water, stick the corner of my brush in my water. It'll flow a little bit. A little bit better, maybe. If I talk in a higher voice, will it flow better? <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing with me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes a bigger brush isn't quicker. It just kind of depends. So I'm reinforcing that to remind me that that's white. And then I might just kind of clean out my brush. It's also easier too if you work up to the edge. So you turn your painting. You can push up into those shapes, kind of, if that makes sense, or pull down, kind of dab and pull down, whatever works for you. There, I kind of got that shadow in too. Okay, that's my lightest area, and that'll help me stay away from that. It will most likely dry darker, and I can go brighter. Oh, you know, I'm cleaning off my brush, but you know what? I want, I want a little bit of white here. I'm just kind of laying it down. Wiggle or pull a little bit. And then we've got a little bit of white here. So I'm looking, it's really not that white, but I'm gonna make it white right there. And maybe have it catch. Of course that could dip down, it could go either way. Let's have it. And I might paint this out. And have it kind of skip and this might totally be unnecessary work and that's where I've never painted a pansy before I could use that excuse um, a lot of times paintings start becoming kind of similar and you you really do end up painting shapes and values so I'm just painting these little shapes I could have a catch right there. And again, I don't know if this is going to be. It's going to work. We're going to come back. I always come back with another layer anyway, but just kind of have it. We'll see. We'll see if we like that. Okay, now I'm going to clean out my brush. paint the purple just kind of like what I do with sometimes with the animal paintings I do or the pet portraits um, so I don't lose it maybe I'll paint it kind of pink because um, that's my inkjet printer making it look I don't know if you can see that looking kind of pink oops I just got paint on something it doesn't look I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you can. There's some pink in here, but not over there. I've got a canvas panel sitting here. Let's see if I can wash it off quick. For a live coming up, we're going to paint another Winnie the Pooh that's in the public domain. And I don't. I just don't want that bright green on there because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So I don't mind the green stain. I'm just going to scrub it out. Put it in a safer spot, maybe? That'd be, that would be smart. Oop, and I just dropped it. Okay, 
Oh, that's because I set the back of my my printout and my traceable. I set it in green paint. All right. Let's get moving here. Let's paint. Um, I think that purple is transparent. Oh yeah, it says it's completely transparent. Flip that over, get my reference photo a little closer to me. Grab just a smidge of white. And we can come back and darken it. I'm, I'm just looking at my reference photo. Oop, I'm gonna grab just a little bit of water. Maybe a little, can you see that? Oh yeah, a little bit of white. Oh, here, look at you. Is that gonna show? I don't think that's gonna show. And these definitely don't have to match exactly. I'm just using the skinny part of my brush and drawing. And the lighter the touch, the skinnier the line. And sometimes you just, if it gets too fat on you, you can come back and skinny it up with dark color around it. Okay, I'm gonna make that longer, just so it doesn't. Okay, I'm liking that. I think we'll do that. So a little bit of white. Oh, I've got a message. I'm gonna swipe that up so I can see my phone. Sorry about the wiggle. But the message was over what I was trying to see on my palette. Okay, let's think brush stroke direction a little bit. I've got quite a bit of white in my brush there. Can you see that blob? Gotta paint that out. So all I'm thinking is maybe I want a couple of jaggedies. I don't know how many jaggedies. Is that a technical term on a pansy, jaggedies? We need... So even if this is more work, I like that I should be able to see it underneath when I paint the whole petal. I didn't get very many jaggedies, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, you know what, on this one I think I want, well, we can paint the purple and we can come back with a little bit of red, or magenta, or red, if that's what you have in your, your studio. And I just went over my orange, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna go over the orange again. Hopefully you guys can't hear those dogs barking. I'm gonna grab straight up purple. Just so the value changes between this purple blob and this purple blob. And there's actually white in there. I don't know if I'll put that in or not. Actually, the swiping is working better than the fatter strokes. You can do the fatter strokes. I'm just kind of swiping with the skinny, skinny side. I grab a little bit of white. I just want to make sure I can see this, hopefully when I paint over it white. This is actually kind of fun and relaxing to just... kind of play with it. Okay, let that dry a little bit. I'm going to put a little darker purple in here. I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then grab some. This prism violet's a pretty color. It's a convenience color. You can totally mix a purple. Okay, I, this might be too many steps ahead, but that's fun. <laughs> Which is the point. I like the change of the values already. 
Okay, I don't know if I need to do this, but it's quite dark right here. So I grab grabbing some straight up purple. And there's actually a light spot, but we can put that back in. I grab a little white. Also, I've said this before, but what's really nice about painting flowers, well, even people, painting anything in nature, it's never the same, it's never perfect. You know, um, you don't have to worry about it, but a lot of times the only difficulty with painting people is, you know, they're gonna have opinions about what they look like in their mind um, versus what you actually paint like every wrinkle or, you know, the character of maidens. Sometimes don't like that. Photographers have that problem too, where people are like, can you, you know, brush out my wrinkles? Can you straighten my nose or whatever it is? There. I think that's going to work. We'll find out, won't we? I'm gonna grab a little bit of white. No, it's more white than I wanted, but actually, I think it might be okay because I just kind of want to make sure I can see sort of the basic shape. And then brush stroke direction helps you. That's why I'm doing it. Whether you do it skinny or fat, it helps you. Because that's, you can actually see the lines. Boy, hopefully you see that in the flower. There's a bunch of ridges. You don't have to paint every ridge. Just go in that direction and it'll work. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit right there. Ooh, that's pretty, a little dry brushing. I'll probably paint all, I'm gonna paint over all that, but it's pretty. Can you see that right there? Dry brushing just means my, the brush doesn't have much water in it. It's drying out. Oh, that's gonna be fun and pretty. I'm already getting excited. I'm kind of painting the fun part first here. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm gonna paint just a little. I saw that I missed, I don't know if I need, <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop saying that. I'm gonna paint a little kind of limey green in here. Oh, let's go darker. I think I'll just grab some of the green and it'll blend right on the, I was gonna say canvas. This is a, a wood, cradled wood panel. I get library voice when I'm painting. I don't normally, well, now that I do YouTube, I talk a whole lot more when I paint. Um, but prior to that, it was, somebody came in and wanted to talk to me, I'd stop. That's pretty dark, but I think that's okay. We can, we, we want it dark. I'd rather have it darker than too light. Okay, and I just dried it with a hair dryer, but I bet I could, um, let's do this. Let's go back to the leaves. So in my number one round, I might leave that, but let's like, let's put in a little, oops, I don't know if I have any paint on there. It's not coming off. Oh, here's a tip. So. The little brushes um, fray out and wear out much quicker. Also, I really shouldn't mix with them, but I do. But if you roll it, if you can see that kind of roll it, you can get a better point sometimes, and it'll hold a point for a while. When they get really old and loved, they won't always hold a point. I was gonna kind of paint an edge in there. You can see that. You can even grab, Chris Black is so strong. Can make it a little darker. Oops, I got like a little blob of paint there. I'm trying to scumble it out, scrub it out. 
I think we might not, we might just have to not worry about it. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm really trying to work it. Oh, when I get it, put it down, it works. Now, do we want a little darker down here? Like it's in the shadow? It's kind of splitting hairs. Oh, can you, I don't know if you can see that my, it, oh, there you go. It's not holding a point very well. It's not that old of a brush. I could also, it's not the brush's fault. It doesn't have very many, um, I say bristles, not very many. I guess bristles is the right word. And then I'm not, I'm not terribly good to them. Okay. Oh, I like that. Let's leave that alone. Okay, I'm cleaning out my brush just because if I don't, like I came back from dinner tonight and I forgot to clean out my one inch flat brush. Um, I'd only been sitting there a couple hours and I put hand sanitizer on it and let it sit for a minute or two and then washed it out and a little more hand sanitizer. I got all the paint out of it. So that's so nice. Synthetic brushes are nice. They can handle a lot of, a lot of goofs. So what we could do is we could go like with some black. Oh, now I got too much water. Um, I'm kind of looking at my photo. I can like I can't really tell. I'm looking at this leaf, and that's another flower, but I left that off. I just put the leaf in. I think we'll just suggest, because the photographer blurred it. I could, when I zoomed in on it in Photoshop, I could tell that they blurred it in Photoshop. Maybe we'll just kind of, oh, I don't like that. Let's kind of just smear that out. There, I think that might be okay. I just, I had lined up both of those points and I didn't want to line them up. And then we could take some of our green. It's lighter here. So I was wondering if another, just another layer of paint will lighten it up. Sometimes it does. Maybe we need a little too much white. I'm gonna offload my brush and then grab. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's kind of lighter than I want. Wiggling, dabbing. Let's leave that. If we need, we can come out and glaze over it, make it darker. Okay, do we want to do anything? This one, you grab the smaller brush. It's been ages, but I used to have a, like in the spring here, I think pansies do well in cooler weather. Let me know if that's right in the comments. Um, and I used to have some, pretty sure I had some in the springtime here. I don't think they did real well with the hot, hot. But then I think I just planted like geraniums or petunias in the pot, something like that. nice yeah I wonder if I'm gonna want that darker because I kind of I'm kind of losing the edge of the the leaf against the background but that's okay I think that's okay 
If I say it enough, does it make it okay? <laughs> you know, I think these things, this is just what I think when I paint. Like lighter, darker, too much water. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't, I didn't wipe off my brush enough and I got too much water. I still wanted that runny. Yeah, I'm kind of losing it here too. I like that. I was going to darken this a little bit. Leave it alone. Let's wait till we get more of the flower in. And just because this is how I paint doesn't mean you, it's how you should paint. You know what might be kind of nice? Let's take some of this and some of that. You could take some matte medium too. I'm just going to grab some a little bit of water. And this just kind of swirls. I'm just going to kind of follow the lead with the purple and just, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to do it here. Maybe I could do this first. Just kind of, oh, that's much lighter than I want. It's going to be strong. If I grab black, it's going to be strong. But I do want it darker. can always make it lighter with another coat. can always kind of wash it out with your finger. <laughs> I'm going to go a little... What's nice about YouTube, if this is too fussy and too much info for you guys, you can fast forward. Some people want to see every single brush stroke and step, and some people, most people don't. Uh, most people only watch. It's going up a little bit. I used to say six minutes of my videos. Um, it's, I don't know what it's up to now. The last video I uploaded, it was 12 minutes, which is, which is awesome. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. It's fun for me to share with you guys, and I just love it when you share with me. People post their paintings in the Facebook group, or some just hang out. You don't have to. Not everybody wants to post their art. I'm just adding water. Matte medium might have been a good move. I don't know. I think that's actually plenty dark. I just want to make sure it's kind of scrubbing. Really, it would be darker up here. I'm going to grab a little bit of water and see if I can kind of... I'm making a mess, you guys. <laughs> Hot mess, a pansy mess. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, I was talking about brush stroke direction, but then I got more concerned about the value. Okay, we can do a little. Oh, I like that. Gonna run out of clean fingers. I think that actually kind of works. I'm going to maybe lighten it up if a little bit if I got anything left in my brush here. Call that good. I should paint. I didn't paint that one. It wasn't white, white. Um, this little part right up here. So value the lightness or darkness is more important than the color. And it, like that color is kind of greener, but that's okay. Shifting the color can be entertaining. People will like the painting a little bit better. Oh, and I forgot I was going to put magenta in. I need to do that. I'm just going to grab a pinch of water. And I'm not getting the greatest coverage, it's totally okay. Right now I'm kind of getting, like finding the edges of a puzzle that I'm working on. So I know where I'm going. 
have some sort of structure and my traceables sort of the, is the structure and the reference and then um, adding some values adds more. There's a good analogy in there somewhere like building a house, you know, traceable is the foundation. Now I'm framing. That might be a decent analogy. Okay, I forgot about the quinacridone, which might be kind of fun. Picking up my half inch brush. It's kind of dirty, but I don't know that I am too concerned. Dip the corner in a little bit of water. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's going to totally get covered up. But I want to remember that we have some magenta right here. Let's bring it out on that one. Oh, that's pretty. So that's glazing. I can see the color coming through it. That's pretty. Okay. Um, there's, you know, eventually I'm already getting more efficient painting, but I'm, you can tell I'm bouncing around a bit. Um, eventually you get so good at it that you just, you know, you know how to approach it all. I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer and I'll be right back. One thing that's kind of bugging me, so one thing nice about hair drying is you'll see things that kind of bug you or that you wanna change. Maybe it's not always bugging you. But we've got kind of a flower floating. So I'm wondering if I am, um... oh, that's way lighter than I want. But I kind of hint at some I do want that to come over the edge. And add some leaves. Oh, that's not right. So I, I don't like it when I swipe it and then my finger kind of wipes off a little more than I want. I'm gonna have to come back and maybe fix that. Or maybe it'll be fine. I just forget about it and it'll be fine. And if it's too light, we can come back. at the reference photo to saying what could help. <sighs> you could kind of... Oh, I kind of want to do that just for direction. Maybe... Oh, you know what helps me sometimes is when I... I just... I do this like in background trees to make a mess which is scary I want it to come over the side there and I think that's gonna dry pretty dark and I think that's gonna work it's scary just know that you can come back and paint it darker everything's pretty thin and smooth I don't have like raised thick bits of paint So all I'm doing is just looking for a darker color um, and then grab a little bit of water, corner my brush. Okay, let's try this again. That's gonna be, I don't know who. <laughs> Got scared. Let's go a little darker. I can always lighten it. I can always darken it too. Well, that's much lighter than I want. It might dry dark enough for us. Whoop, I don't want too many swirls. I mean, too many like, that actually might work. I feel like this, I feel like that's working better than like this swipe. Wipe out my brush on a paper towel, grab just a corner of water so my brush isn't quite so loaded. I'm just going to paint it down the side a little bit. 
Okay, let's grab just some straight up purple. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Trying to break up that line. And I'm just scrubbing. Oh, you might not be able to see that here. Well, let me finish my thought and then I'll show you. Oh, I think that's working okay. Grab a little black, a little green. I'm not getting, there we go. Black is so strong. I say that a lot, but um, it's good to remember. Okay, a bit darker. Let's maybe scribble out here. There. I think that might help a little. Like there's other things there. We, we might have to do more of that. <laughs> Grab a little water in the corner of my brush. Oh, I knew that was gonna be light. Pull it, thin it out. I, I thank you guys. If you guys have been painting with me for a little while, you know I, I almost always have uh, dirty fingers. Well, that's what's nice about the cad yellow. Uh, the medium, the hue means it doesn't have any cadmium in it. So I like that. Okay, let's leave the background alone for a while. I can overthink it all. I tend to do that a lot. All right, now I was trying to keep this as much in real time as possible. We could do purple. We could do gray. We could do greenish. I think maybe we'll, I think I'll leave that one kind of, that one's warmer. I think we'll take a hint from the photo and then I think we'll keep these flower petals cooler. So, excuse me, put a little purple in our mix. Kind of make pretty mud. It's dry. Okay, and that's probably too dark. It may be too purple. Hard to know sometimes. That's when I tell myself value is more important than, I almost should maybe mix up. I just kind of want a dirty, cool gray, or at least cooler than that. Oh, I'm not getting much here. more purple. Okay, that's getting warmer. I think 
that might be okay. Now you could just mix black and white, but taking the time sometimes to make a pretty muddy color can help you and it'll look, you might like it better. It's up to you. Cleaning off my brush. Okay, dirty brush can help you too, but I'm just gonna get most of the paint I had in there out of there. Matte medium could be a good idea too. I wonder if we should have done that. I was trying to paint it without matte medium because I don't know if you guys all have that. Or gloss medium. I just don't like the gloss because um, it dries shiny and I photograph or I scan my work in. I sell prints online. I send it to my, most of, most of the paintings go to my agent too. So brush stroke direction. Almost a little too thin there. So this is glazing too. You can see the white underneath. I could leave that a little darker. But I think I'll kind of lightly. Those are about the same value, um, but I think that's gonna that's gonna come up lighter. I might go ahead and keep it darker just to keep me. Whoop. That's gonna be so dark, but let's just try it. Keep myself where I want to go. I don't, that doesn't make sense. Remind myself. I think I need to order a new son. I'm kind of beating him up. <laughs> yeah, I like just help keep me on track. We could actually take Oh, that's too dark. Go back to our Sort of gray purple color. Grab just a pinch of water. That's covering my purple. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more transparent. darker than I need it. Um, there's not much value change between these two. Actually, I might make it darker here, like it tucks under. up a little bit. Pinch of water in the corner of my brush. Yeah, I think matte medium might have been we so the I keep saying that uh, the matte medium would give us more transparency. Um, I posted in the Facebook group about how much water you can add to acrylic paint. It was on Golden's. Golden is a ac acrylic paint company's website. Um, you can add quite a bit. 
especially on a surface like this, because I have an absorbent. I put two layers of gesso on the surface. That's getting way lighter than I want it. So I just wiped out my brush. I'm just gonna kind of push it around, thin it out a little bit. Um, you don't need to be too afraid of the underbinding thing that people talk about. Well, I lost some of my purple, didn't I? We're okay, though. We can put it back in. It, as I said, it doesn't have to be... Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a flower. You could put the tra let dry it and put the traceable back on it. That works pretty well. Get a little dry brushing. Another layer makes it brighter. Here, I'll show you. Now this is pretty dry. I totally lost my purple on this one, didn't I? Well, you guys probably skipped the purple, maybe. Put that on last. That's fun. Got really quiet. Emily's probably got a little bit of music running in the background. She, she edits the videos. Cool. Okay, I kind of lost that color. brush into my yellow there. Grab just a little bit of water. Why? Because I wanted it to flow a little bit better. That's drying pretty quick. I wouldn't mind having this edge. But we don't think we need the whole edge. here. That's what's so nice about a reference photo. If you don't know what to do, you can say, well, it does it there. So maybe I'll do it. out my brush a little bit, have a little water in it and see if I can just kind of, 
I might have to stop, it might lift. Kind of blend that edge a little bit. It's drying, but it's not real dry. Okay, I don't mind that at all. Kind of want to bring that up a little bit. My in frame. I wasn't going there, but then I looked at my reference photo and it popped out at me. Okay, I was gonna go, now a pinch of water, make sure my paint's kind of thin. Make that edge a little stronger. You come back with a little bit of our dirt. Might be too much dirt, but oh no, I think that's okay. Oop, I went too far. That's all right. It really just goes from here. Oops. Ooh, I'm lifting up the paint. Let's leave that alone. I'm gonna grab some straight up white. I wanna turn it, but I actually wanna get, that's bright white right there. And then, we don't have to get this exact. Let's make this, I'm gonna grab some white and enroll it and try and get my brush to point better. I'm not crazy about that. There, that's a little better. I can come back and darken that if I need to. I'll say it doesn't do this in a reference photo, but maybe I'll say that's catching white or light too. Okay. Let's... One one um, reason I like the white here is because I can. That's about as white as I can go, and that actually helps me. It's like okay, if I want more changes, I've got to go darker or change things up, and it does push that leaf back, even though I made that lighter than like that one. That's why I was wondering if maybe I want to push this back a little bit so then it kind of makes more sense with the, the background. I'm not sure yet. Overthinking. Oh, and the purple's kind of coming through now that it's drying. You can see it better. I might, that, let me know if you guys could see that too. Of course, maybe you can't in the video here. Give me a look. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. I lost my whites, but that's okay. What do I want to do? I think I want lighter. We can even shift it a little. You could. This layer, we could go a little greener. Actually, that looks a little greener in there, right there. Okay, so.
I'm, I'm lining them all up in the same spot. So just try to be random. And I was gonna try and go shorter and I didn't, I really didn't here. Meaning, at least some darker. Excuse me. So I'm bringing up the value of the petals and then seeing how they dry. Um, I can go darker. It's not like I couldn't come back with some darker color um, just to see how I like it. Cause like, look how much darker that dried cause it's quite thin paint. I'm trying to sort of wash it up a little bit. Yeah, it's not working. Sometimes my finger, a paper towel, if you don't like to use your fingers, can work. There. For some reason, I like that a little better. Okay. Um, that one was greener. Let's um, either add some dirt or just change the color a little bit. Really, this one should be warmer. That's okay, well. Sometimes I'll go along the edge just to get a sharper edge and then I pull in the direction of the, the petal. I'm gonna add some of this up here. I lost my white. Well, not totally. I almost lost my white. But that's kind of reminiscent, uh, uh, similar to that color. That can kind of help. Okay, let's go cooler. Corner of my brush in the water. I don't think I got it the first time. There we go. My water's been evaporating. <laughs> it's been there, been there overnight. Okay. Did we decide? Yeah, we decided that that's gonna be lighter here. Pretty thin paint. Yeah, I should have just painted the petals and then the purple. And as I said before, you can, um, but just in case you're not listening to the whole video, you can paint the petals in whatever sh values of white, like I am right now, and then come back with your traceable if you want to and paint in the purple. Let's see if I can grab them. There's not much color there. I can kind of define. There we go. Let's define that edge a little bit. Sometimes going horizontal is totally fine. You don't always have to go in the correct brush stroke direction. Okay, we want some of our dirt. A little bit of water. That's kind of pretty how dark that is. It's not in the reference photo like that. Let's maybe, excuse me. We can let that fade off into nothing and maybe keep that. It might be a little bit more dramatic and fun.
kind of want to fix it, but probably shouldn't. And then I go ahead and do it. It's so tempting to want to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just sighed. Breathe. See, I must have been holding my breath. Breathe. I'm liking this better. It goes back as the flower petals get lighter. We could be light enough. Let's um let's help myself here. Let's grab some white. A little bit of water. Too much water. It's gonna kind of spread it out. Okay. Let's put some whites back in again and see what we think. dried already. It's not dry dry but it won't smear. It's thin and be a little quicker. This definitely, I don't know what I said before but this would definitely have. It's kind of getting petunia like. Kind of swipe over it. Just kind of swiping and dry brushing and watching the values. Sorry, my the to the volume of my voice changes. Has to do with how much my brain's thinking. Okay, I've kind of got too much of an even thing right here, which I don't know is really bad because we're gonna put some purple. But maybe I'll just kind of pull this one if I can. My brush is really drying out. I think that works. Okay. Oh, is that in frame? I'm getting worried that this video is going to take a long time, but this is how I do it. Um, they take a long time to upload, plus then the longer the video I edit it, and then my daughter edits it. And gosh, we're doing almost, not every week, but most weeks, two videos in a live every week, so I don't, I don't want to overwhelm either one of us. A little white here. I'm just gonna see if I can scrub it off. So pull and twist. It's, it's so light, it's not really showing. I was kind of trying to get a little bit of a there. Woo! Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Don't do anything. <laughs> it might dry. I might have to do it again. That's pretty. I'm loosening up a little bit too. I don't like this. It's too strong right now, but it, we might get there. If. So we're, we're kind of getting darker as we go this way. Not completely. But this has a little, like, lift. It's got a little lip. I'm going to lighten this just a smidge right there. I could darken the other edge too, the other side of it, instead of lightening this. 
there. Okay, let's. That's pretty. Just leave it. It doesn't quite line up, but just leave it. That's a nice brush stroke. Oh, I just, like my foot was hurting. I'm standing on cords. <laughs> I didn't, I'm concentrating so hard on my painting. I didn't even notice. We could say that dips down and then pull this one up a little more again. So kind of light, light. Um, this actually catches some light. We could put some, so not much paint on my brush at all. Just talk about the light kind of going in there. And then maybe talk about, this is getting to the fun part, but it also takes quite a while. A little bit of light. Did you see I went kind of too far out and I was shaking a little bit? It's okay. Okay, that's looking better too. Let's um I wanna pull this up a little bit. Kind of dabbing and painting with the corner. That's nice. Um, this isn't as bright in the reference photo, but let's. I got a blob, but I think that might be nice. Is taking forever. <laughs> oh well. well, it'll be. I'll. Um, I will see what Emily thinks. So now I'm looking at it. I'm looking at my reference photo. I think I'm gonna come back with the purple. You know what, guys? I'm gonna stop the video and take a photo so I can see this. I've been on top of it for at least an hour or so. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello. So I like how warm that is, but I'm gonna see if I can. It's a little too warm for me. Maybe a little lighter. And a little. Here, I'm gonna wipe my brush out, grab a corner in the water so it's not so loaded and not as thick. Oh, that might be too light. I feel like that should have a little more detail. All these, I also I think, oh, you know what? I, that's what's bugging me. It, it has some detail in it, but it's kind of interesting. And it doesn't really, It doesn't have color detail, if that makes sense. It has more value. And I'm not getting what I want. I think it's because it's too wet. Let's try it this way. Oh, there we go. I'm not crazy about it, but that's kind of what I was aiming for. Hopefully my head wasn't in there. I had my, I could pick it up. That might 
Hell, get some lines. You've got so many lines in that one. Or in all the other petals. Maybe come back with... Oh, I probably should let it dry. We'll have to remember to come back. Okay, that this kind of bugs me. Maybe... I don't know if this is gonna make any sense because it's green. It's not green in the reference photo. I wasn't gonna put that there, but then I decided to. It was kind of toned down. It's awfully, awfully subtle. I have a little bit of our dirt. better so I don't have such a strong edge and I don't this kind of matches that one a little bit better I can't, I want to fix that <laughs> let it dry nice things it dry fast okay let's put in some purples I think we might oh one other thing that kind of I think I do want to push Let's see, I need, oh, that black is always so strong. Okay, is this gonna work? Okay, maybe push this side back. Oh yeah, see that's just lightly, basically glazing. And then once you kind of get the feel for it, you can go a little heavier, a little more. let dry and come back. Hopefully you can see that. So now I'm glazing dark instead of glazing light like I was doing earlier. Oop. I'm gonna have to let it dry. Let's see if I can. Okay, leave it alone. It's starting to dry on me. Okay, let's put some purples in. Boy, and I might just go straight up purple and white and not mute it at all. I should probably put out some more purple. If you're joining late, Prism Violet. <laughs> that sounded like, I don't know what, like a podcast or something. <laughs> I feel like you guys are here with me. Okay, you can do dark first or light first. Put in the main one since I lost it, and then grab just a pinch of water. And I kind of like that it splits, and then it has a little one here, and then it kind of has. We'll call that good. Oh, I li almost lined them all up. Okay, and then, uh, oh, this might be too light. Let's, um, a little darker. But that's pretty. I like how soft it is, how the white, I might come back again. to paint with the edge and I'm gonna kind of paint with just like half the brush there oh here you know it might work you could turn your reference photo upside down too so then you can still follow it well that's pretty so when I turn it, when I turn it upside down I like it better because my brain sees it differently oh that's too I've got too much water in my brush Well, and maybe not, because that's a nice, pretty, soft stroke, actually. 
I messed it up. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, this goes almost to here. Oop, I could see the white on my brush. Now you can go off script here and uh, leave this lighter purple. It's quite pretty. And if our, our white petal values are wrong, we can come back and paint them again and then we can come back and paint the purple again. Save your thick brush strokes for last. It can make it easier if you want thick ones. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm running out of uh, paint on my brush, but I don't mind that. That's pretty fun. This is fun. Getting gets more fun as you go, and especially when it starts to come together and look good. That also helps with the. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna want it darker. I'm gonna wash out my or wipe my brush off on my paper towel. And this comes out pretty far. I actually like that that skipped more. I should have done that maybe down in there more. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. That's pretty. Oh, turn my reference photo. I'm gonna grab straight up purple and hope my brush is dry enough. I'm just going to try and get some skipping. I'm going to have to paint with it a little bit. Oh, not much is coming off. Let's try it again. Although that might be pretty good. Just leave it. That's kind of nice. Sorry if you don't like the play-by-play. The -play. I'm assuming if... We're doing this in real time. You want to hear some of these things. See how my brush is split? It's one way I know that it's kind of dry. Let's grab some. I'm just going to stick the corner of my paint. Ah. Try to be random. leave that okay some of these are pretty dark well, there's one up here I could have got I didn't get um I think I want it lighter make that one a little darker make that a little darker There is one little swoop right of purple right up here, but I don't think I want to put it in. That's kind of fun. Oh, and there's like a little hint of purple. We might get in trouble here. I'm just gonna dry brush it and then try and make it longer right there. Maybe kind of connect it up here a little bit. Probably should stop. Although it looks too straight to me. Maybe I need to make it a little different than it is in the reference photo. And then this might be kind of neat. It has 
Oh, let's go lighter. Keep it kind of dry. Oop. Lighter than I wanted, but I think that's going to dry okay. Well, close and yet I could paint for another hour. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I have been painting a long time here. I want to finish it because like I committed to the almost all in real time. I don't know if we'll be able to do this again, guys. I hope so, but it's just too much video. It's a ton of memory on my computer too. Let me know if you guys are video experts and can give me some tips. could put some black in this purple, make it even darker. My paints are drying. Good. Don't do too many. You can always add more. And you could paint over it and fix it and all that stuff. It's kind of nice if you don't have to. I'm just washing out my brush. I think this is looking really pretty. Um, let's work on I grabbed my number one round. And this has a glow, which is kind of interesting. Actually, I'm a little afraid to do that. Oh, I can paint it darker. And now, oh, when this dries, I'm gonna put some magenta. I wish you guys were here to help me remember. Forgot about this person, that, that space. It's pretty close to this one. So I'm gonna. At least lighten up part of it. It's kind of dabbing. that forward and then I have this quite dark you might need to just kind of like the light whoops <laughs> whoops I'm cleaning up my brush let's see if I can kind of just blend that in kind of pull that part of the leaf forward a little bit or, or sorry flower petal Okay. 
Still bugs me a little bit. Gonna leave it alone. Let's work on that. Gonna grab some straight up yellow. I might need to, you know what? I'm gonna hair dry and I'll be right back. So when I hair dry, I always see something. And I'm just not happy about the value in the petal. Maybe if I pick it up. I think I did my, oh, there, maybe. Oh, that's a little, I brushed it too many times. I overworked it. Can I just kind of... Is that too dark now? Hmm. Does that work? All right, let's leave it alone for a while. I don't know if that's any better. Sometimes I just need to like, I've been working on this too, too long. I need to take a break. Get away from it. I'm just reinforcing that white. It can take a couple of coats of white to really make it pop. And I know I've said this before, some artists won't, will go almost to white, but not quite. Mix the color. I like this, how that fades. I like how this is fading more. Let's work on the center. Grab, just grab some yellow. It's quite transparent. Uh, the bottle says semi-transparent. I'm gonna leave, I think I'm gonna leave that darker because I've got more drama going on than in the reference photo. Oh, and you know what we should do? Let's grab, this is gonna make me happy. I put way more quinacridone than I needed. And it's starting to dry, but you can just kind of poke into it. I think I've got too much water in my brush. I think I need some drier paper towels. That's a brilliant, brilliant, strong color. Oh, and I don't have the shape quite right, but that's all right. We'll just... You don't see it, but I kind of want one. A little bit of juice right there. why I like transparent paint or colors. You can always thin them with a medium, make them transparent if they're not. 
um, cause it's fun. Oop, that's gonna be way, probably way too much. Um, it's just fun to layer colors on it. Just looking for a, an orange, kind of a lighter orange. Okay, that's really solid to me. I'm gonna take a little white and I don't like the shape. I'm gonna pull this up. better. Oh, and I feel like that needs to go wider. You could switch brushes. I just, um, they dry, dries pretty quick in my brush. So I spent a lot of time cleaning them. Just gonna kind of dab and scumble a little. I'm liking this better. And you may have liked it a long time ago. You know, it was fine. It's, it's just it starts to become personal preference. I'm gonna dry with a hair dryer and I'll be back. Oop, I can see my phone. Hopefully it's, the video sometimes stabilizes it, but I can see my phone wiggling. lifting up a little bit right there. Okay, I don't know if I need to do... some of this. I don't know, it's not really showing. There. I think we might be done. One thing that um, was bothering me still a little bit is the background. Grab a little. I bet you I slid off frame there, or out of frame. I say we've got a little bit of a leaf here. It's gonna dry darker, is what I'm thinking right now. I'm gonna keep swiping at it till I like it. dry it and sign it and I think we're done.
Hey friends, we made it! Yay! What do you think? I love the drama. I love the, the big range and values and that this is quite dark, which is nice against all this white and almost white. And I'm hoping since this is the only yellow that these white bits keep you here more in the painting. And then of course you look at the whole flower and it's just a portrait of a pansy. You don't need a whole lot of design thought to it. Um, I did put really thick yellow green paint on with my half inch flat brush. And then it was even raised up, but it's dried flat. But I just wanted to indicate another leaf. I put another layer on off camera. Screenshot. Sorry, I know I'm moving it. I'm just trying to get it. I'm on my tippy toes looking down at my phone. And then we'll give you a quick look here, get it closer. Isn't that fun? It's really pretty. I like that little bit of magenta in there. I think that's really fun. Oh, and the leaf does go over to the side. It just, you know, just a couple of brush strokes. Well, I really enjoyed hanging out with you. Let me know if you paint this one. I super appreciate all your support. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.